Hey there, new parents! Are you feeling a little overwhelmed and uncertain about how to properly hold your precious bundle of joy? Don't worry, we've all been there. But have no fear, Yardy Baby is here with some expert tips and a sprinkle of Caribbean flavor to help you navigate this exciting new journey with confidence. Let me start by sharing a little anecdote from my own experience as a new mom. I remember the first time I held my baby, my heart was pounding with a mix of pure joy and sheer terror. Am I doing this right? Is she comfortable? What if I drop her? These thoughts raced through my mind as I cradled her tiny body in my arms. Little did I know, it's a universal experience shared by parents worldwide, no matter their background or culture. So let's dive right in and explore the art of holding a baby. But first, let me ask you this. What do you think is the most important thing to keep in mind when holding a newborn? Is it supporting their head? Maintaining eye contact? Or maybe ensuring a snug but gentle embrace? Write down your guess because we'll come back to it later. Now, let's lay the foundation with some essential background information. Newborns are incredibly delicate and their muscles and bones are still developing. That's why it's crucial to provide proper support especially for their neck and head. You've probably heard the term tossing a baby, but let me reassure you, that's not a real thing, at least not in a literal sense. We want to handle our little ones with the utmost care and gentleness. Speaking of gentleness, did you know that in many Caribbean cultures, it's believed that newborns can sense energy and emotions? That's why it's so important to approach them with a calm, loving presence. My grandmother used to say, baby pick me feel everything, so give them peace and love from you heart. Wise words indeed. All right, let's dive into the key concepts of holding a baby properly. First up, supporting the head and neck. When you're cradling your little one, make sure to gently cup the back of their head with your hand or forearm. This helps keep their neck aligned and prevents strain or discomfort. You can also use a rolled up blanket or towel as extra support if needed. Next, we have the classic cradle hold. This is the go-to position for feeding, soothing, and bonding with your baby. To do it correctly, hold your baby horizontally across your body with their head resting in the crook of your elbow. Support their back and bottom with your forearm and hand, and remember to keep their head and neck aligned. For a cozy Caribbean twist, you can add a soft, lightweight muslin cloth or rebozo to create a gentle swaying motion. Perfect for lulling your little one to sleep. But wait, there's more. The tummy to tummy hold is another favorite among parents. This one is great for skin to skin contact and promoting bonding. Simply place your baby's tummy against your chest with their legs straddling your body. Use one hand to support their bottom and the other to gently cup their head. You can even add a touch of Caribbean flair by humming a soothing folk tune or lullaby while you rock them gently. Now, let's address a common misconception. The idea that you shouldn't hold your baby too much or spoil them. This is simply not true. Holding your baby frequently is essential for their physical, emotional, and cognitive development. It helps them feel secure, loved, and builds a strong attachment bond with you. So don't hesitate to scoop up your little one whenever you want to. They crave that closeness and affection. But what about real world applications, you ask? Well, mastering different holding positions will come in handy for all sorts of situations. Need to soothe a fussy baby? Try the tummy to tummy hold or gentle rocking. Feeding time? The cradle hold is perfect for that. Even something as simple as carrying your baby from room to room can be made easier and more comfortable with the right technique. Now let's address some challenges and potential solutions when it comes to holding a baby. One common obstacle is fatigue or discomfort, especially for new parents who are still adjusting. Here's where the buddy system comes in handy. Take turns holding your little one with your partner or a trusted family member. And don't be afraid to ask for help or take breaks when needed. Another challenge could be a squirmy, wiggly baby who doesn't want to stay still. In these cases, 
Try swaddling them gently or using a baby carrier or wrap to provide extra support and security. And if your baby seems particularly fussy or uncomfortable, it's always a good idea to check for signs of hunger, discomfort, or a dirty diaper. Remember that curiosity gap question I asked earlier? What do you think is the most important thing to keep in mind when holding a newborn? Well, the answer is all of the above. Providing proper head and neck support, maintaining a calm, loving presence, and ensuring a gentle but secure embrace are all equally crucial. It's a delicate balance, but with practice and patience, you'll become a pro in no time. So, there you have it, New Parents, a comprehensive guide to holding your baby like a Caribbean pro. Remember, the most important thing is to approach this journey with love, confidence, and a willingness to learn. And if you ever feel unsure or overwhelmed, don't hesitate to reach out to experienced moms, dads, or trusted healthcare professionals for guidance and support. Before we wrap up, let me leave you with a parting thought. Holding your baby is so much more than just a practical task. It's a sacred moment of connection, love, and bonding that you'll cherish forever. So savor every cuddle, every snuggle, and every heartbeat against your chest. These precious moments are the building blocks of a lifetime of beautiful memories. And if you found this video helpful, be sure to like, share, and subscribe to Yardy Baby for more informative and entertaining content on baby care, sprinkled with a touch of Caribbean flavor. Until next time, walk good and embrace the adventure of parenthood with open arms, literally.